Well, hello. So we are on holiday and I thought I would give you as more holiday content, because why not, a room tour. So we are currently, I'm currently outside. That's our bedroom window, you can see there. Um, started off with a view, which is what we can literally see. So I'll just turn you around. There you go. That's our view from our beautiful little porchway that's the neighbours here and down there but we can use sun loungers we can sit out it's all good so what do we have we have our little area to sit we've been out here having breakfast this morning um, and we have a door obviously that takes you into a griffin who's doing things what I should do is put my cam light round but I can't be bothered so this is our lounge we have a griffin hello griffin what are you up to uh, reading the history of heavy metal nice I like reading. he likes to read so we just have a couch this is also a sofa bed um, a chair we do have another chair over here with my cushion but I moved it because there was little space to get around and as you know I'm pretty unstable on my feet so I moved the furniture around we also have a TV a hi-fi system and a DVD player please excuse my hair it's doing its own thing today we have over here right behind if I turn around again we have a dining area and our kitchen which I'll show you what we've done excuse the gubbins that are out we're just we've been here we got here yesterday so we have a sink we have a washing machine which is good we're here for two weeks so i'm gonna need to do some washing at some time we've got a dryer outside a drying rack <clears throat> so to be able to use the washing machine without going to a laundrette is fabulous we have under the sink we might as well show you have some bits and pieces that they provide for us so you have a bin um, bin bags so they come around and collect those the ladies actually just bin washing powders bits in the back of there and even better even though there's only two of us we have a dishwasher sink is here so you get a lovely view while he's doing the washing up and then we have uh, plates and things in here that's just a fake panel uh, cups and glasses pans those are mainly hiding the extractor fan hood but I have put my cooking oil up there which we will use tea coffee bread we've got a snack cupboard down here we've got an oven uh, I don't think we've put anything in that one yet but I'm sure we'll find something to put in there microwave can be used as a warming drawer but it's a um it's got serve not serviettes what they're called placemats and things and then cutlery drawers cooking utensils all here we have more cupboard space up here which currently has a colander style thing in it we've just been to the shop so we have some food just to get us through the next couple of days in there and of course stocked up the fridge with various different bits and pieces and plenty of water so we have been advised that the water due to a drought that's been going on was started when we were here last wasn't it so december we're now in may there's been a drought there's been no um water rainfall here for over six months so the water has now been declared contaminated <laughs> significant no significant rainfall um yeah so the water's been declared contaminated unfit for drinking so we've got plenty of water in it's okay for showers washing up that kind of thing but for kettle usage and um 
cleaning your teeth, we do have plenty of water. So let's go and show you the rest of it. From our front door, which is here, we have a hallway that goes straight down, obviously, to where we've just been. We've got some artwork. We've got plenty of floor space. We have hanging areas, boots, so it's quite a wide walking area. In here, we have, hello, uh, a disabled bathroom, which is awesome. So it's a bit of a mess at the moment because I was in here this morning. So you can open the windows, they're all barred outside, so it's safe. The shower is fully step free and is pretty good. I've already started putting my gubbins out. We have a couple of shelves with toilet rolls. We always bring spares, some body wash and shampoo and then my body spray, sun cream, and then I've unpacked my skincare. I've got a couple of face masks. And then over here, we have uh, the stop water for the kitchen, should there be an issue. A couple of hanging bits. We have more stop water over there. I mean, not that you need to know that, but just so as you know, it's kind of safe. And then that's the kitchen behind. And then on this side of the building, we have a bedroom, which has become, for now, the Griffin's storage, my filming room. So I'm going to be filming some outfits over here. I've got a cupboard. In the cupboard, they have supplied, sorry, wardrobe. We've got an iron. We've got a parasol. We've got sweeping up stuff and we've got towels for the swimming pool. We also have a very large set of drawers, which the Griffin is using for these two weeks. And if he annoys me, there's a spare bed he can go and sleep in. Moving through, we have a bathroom, which the Griffin is using. So that has a bidet, bath shower, shelves, mirror, hairdryer if he needs it, and sink and storage underneath, which is always nice. And right next door, we have this cupboard, which my walker has been sat in the top, but again, just more storage. So one thing we can't complain about in here is the amount of storage. I'm starting to sound like a sales rep. There is a lot of storage space. There's you know, if you were coming here and you've got kids, you've got storage, 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 because there's things in the wardrobes, so there's extra hanging space, which is great. And then the last room to show you is here, so this is just off the dining room, is the main bedroom. And again, we have, you can see I've started to, um, well, we have unpacked, but you've got a mirror and chest of drawers, bedside tables, Bed's a bit hard, but it does the job. We have a view. We have double blinds. Don't know if you can see. I'll turn the light on. Uh, yeah, so we have the white one is an inner blind. We have an outer shutter um, blind that's kind of light proof. What's the word? Blackout. And then inside the window as well, just outside the window, there's a shutter. So we can shut that down. And then we have some coat hooks again and a wardrobe which not only has enough room to store my suitcase at the top it has this small amount of clothes i've been able to bring because i have my walker in my suitcase we have a safe which we haven't used yet and more chest of drawers and a spare duvet for the winter months so there you go that's where we're spending our holiday it's nice it's quiet really quiet the neighbors are a little bit noisy um we do have an upstairs um couple i think might have kids they've been a bit noisy but they went to bed about nine which is pretty much when we went to bed so there wasn't particularly any noise overnight i remember in the last one we did have to complain about the upstairs they had kids running around at like midnight and it was too much um okay. But because the floors are tile, you move furniture, you scrape furniture, you can hear it in multiple rooms. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It's enough furniture without feeling crowded. Um, 
it's very easy to get around for me with my walker. We have had an issue. I'm waiting on a phone call at the moment, which is why I'm trying to get this done. Um, we got off the plane. I did briefly mention it in the travel vlog, but we got off the plane um, or went to get off the plane. Went to the attached gangway and my chair wouldn't work. So luckily the, the staff in the airport, I can't fault them, they were amazing. They put my chair on the carousel. It did lose the knob off the top of the joystick, which I'm gonna have to replace, but I can pick that up off Amazon. Um, but, sorry, this bloody fly that keeps going around. Um, yeah, the airport staff were amazing. They were really helpful. They took us right out to where the taxis were through the airport, through um, security, customs, all that stuff. Uh, we got a I got a lift on a truck. Gary had a the Griffin had a pulley trolley with all the stuff on. Met outside. The guy waited for him. Went through a secret doorway to go straight out to the taxis. It was great. And yeah, so I've been in touch with Dan, who works at Ola Mobility in Fuengarola, and he is going to call me back to see when he can fit me in to get mine fixed because we need it collected. So it's currently down at main reception. But luckily, luck good old Blade over here, who we've just stick in there for now, did fit in my suitcase once I packed him down. Um, couldn't bring as much as I wanted to, but hey, that's holidays for you. You live with what you've got. Um, but yeah, the hope, the, they've got it down at main reception and they will help us out looking after it until we can get it fixed and then I can be a bit more mobile. We have been down to the local shop already. Um, we've, oh, I'm gonna go and sit down, bear with me. I'm gonna go and sit down, she's getting on a bit. Um, yeah, we've been down to the local shop, as you saw, we have stocked up on a few provisions and we're just gonna chill out for the day. It's our first full day here. We know the resort, we know where we are, we know where we're going. So everything's been pretty relaxed so far. Just waiting to get my chair fixed, which hopefully will get fixed in the next couple of days. And then we might go into Fuengarola um, towards the weekend because there is a cultural food festival going on. Um, and the Griffin is very keen, very keen to try some of the local delicacies. And we do have a lot of birds around here. And if you're very quiet, we get little birds and they come and see us. And I had, ooh, five or six various types of birds just hanging around with me this morning because I was up earlier than the griffin. And they were just coming up and wandering around looking for scraps of food that I just let them wander around and fly off. A bit like the griffin, constantly looking for scraps of food. Um, he's going to read. I'm going to edit this and get it up because I'm on a chill day and wait for a phone call. And there, there you go. There is our room tour. I hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry it's been a bit uneventful. But if you're ever, uh, for those of you who know where we are, um, if you're ever down this way, Costa del Sol, near Frangarola, we are at the Ramada, aren't we? Hotel, so it's part timeshare, part holiday, village, come now hotel, because it's been taken over. And yeah, it's really lovely. The only thing I would like, the only thing I would like, is a slightly softer bed. Um, I understand, you know, they need the beds to be robust, um, because of the amount of people that stay over the year and it's a, a 365 24 7 resort they are open all year round for everybody um, for the timeshare we were here in December um, so I can understand that the beds need to be robust for the amount of people that stay but they are a little bit sleep on not in and I like to sleep in my bed a little bit but it's fine I slept really well last night um, had a solid pretty solid sleep so we will just make do. It's for two weeks and then I get back to my kitty bobbles and my comfy bed and 
maybe a haircut because I think it needs it. But anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you in the next one. I am going to do a resort tour. I'm going to do a vlog. I'm going to do outfits. I'm going to do a bit of holiday makeup, holiday skincare. Um, a product I found for those of you who rock the buzz cut like I do, that you will find very helpful. Um, and I will talk about that in my makeup one and daily bits, skincare. Uh, what else am I going to do? I'm going to do a general vlog of the holiday. Little bits each day. Haven't done any yet. I'll do that in a bit. Uh, I've done a pack with me, travel with me. All those bits, all going up. Hopefully a month's worth of content out of this trip, which gives me a little bit of breathing space when I get back. And I've started filming for June already, which you will hear about in the June videos, but I started those before I left. So I've got plenty of content to get me through. And yeah, she's back on YouTube. She's come back with vengeance. She's come back doing lots of videos. But until then, it's bye from me. It's bye from him. Bye. And love you lots.